guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Why don't you be my neighbor? Our topic for today is selling and salespeople, why are we afraid? What's going on? Why, what can we do about being afraid? You know, I'm over here at Jacksonville Beach today and I'm telling you what, man, surf's up. See, a lot of times when people get into sales, they have this thing called fear, false evidence appearing real. So what are you afraid of? Okay, I'm gonna tell you a lot. A lot of times what happens is when people first get into sales, they start selling and they get a new opportunity, they don't know what they're doing. They're trying to figure out the product, they're trying to figure out the service, they're trying to figure out the vernacular and how to have a conversation. And when you're a salesperson, we're just like everybody else, we get a little bit of fear, false evidence appearing real because we don't know what to expect. So if you're looking for a job or a career in selling, you owe it to yourself to dive right on into it and get yourself out there, get your feet wet, start knocking on those heavy doors. Okay, start picking up that heavy phone and start doing the do. Like I said, guys, I've been in sales for a long time, so give me a thumbs up, please share. And our topic for today is fear, or dealing with fear and having to overcome this fear because see, when you start a new job, I've been there, I've done that. I've been in sales since the early 80s and I've seen a lot of great companies come and go, but one of the things you can remember is you can glean information from each opportunity. And fear when you start a new career or a new job in a new selling field or you're starting to sell a new product, it can be kind of scary, it can be kind of overwhelming until you learn the vernacular, learn how to have a selling conversation, learn how to talk to people about your product. You know, that healthy fear sometimes will get you hung because we work on this magic thing called commission. So if you're broke and you need to get out there and make some money, honey, I'm saying you got to overcome your fear. You got to be able to share your information and don't forget to market yourself. Tell everybody, hey, well, this is what I'm doing. I'm selling stuff. And the key to success, guys, when you're out there trying to sell something, that fear will come, but it'll also go back. It'll get, it'll get less and less and less, but you'll always still, it don't matter how many years of success you've had in sales, we always have that little bit of fear. Some fear is good for you, but some fear, it can make you just not do what you need to do. So just, you know, what you need to do, guys, is learn your products, study the craft of sales, learn how to have a selling conversation, learn how to deal with different types of personalities, and never lie, never steal. And if you don't know something, you gotta fake it till you make it. And being afraid to be able to be successful in sales, it happens to everybody. I mean, when you gotta learn a new script, this can be scary, but you have to practice. And that means you go and you do it over and over and over. If you're starting a new retail job and they've got all kinds of different products and services and stuff, and you're not familiar with everything, it can be a little overwhelming. It can be a little bit scary, but you gotta do yourself a favor, guys. You gotta try you got to try really hard to just deal with the reality live one day at a time and that means you go to work one day at a time you may not be proficient at what you're doing in the beginning but that's okay it takes time it takes you a little bit of time to learn and I'll tell you what within 30 days you'll be a lot better than you were you know the first day and after about 90 days you'll be a lot lot better and after a year or so it just seems like old hat so if you're getting a new opportunity, if you're learning about sales or just getting into sales or you're starting a new business, if you're an entrepreneur, it is scary out there. The fear, false evidence appearing real, it can really devastate a lot of good people. I've been there, I've done that, and I've had some fear because see, I work on this magic thing called commission. So if you don't sell something with an amount of time, it can be overwhelming. You can be like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? And sometimes the writing on the wall. Just remember, there are so many different great opportunities in sales that you owe it to yourself to be successful. Give yourself a chance. Just remember that fear is false evidence appearing real. It may seem overwhelming, you may seem scared, but if we walk through the process, and that means we dive right on into our career, I'm gonna tell you what, and if you stick and stay and you commit to yourself that you're gonna at least try it for six months, a year, so you can start making some money. Now, if you're only working on straight commission and you ain't made no money in the first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and you don't have nobody helping you pay the bills, oh, it can be kind of scary. It can be very fearful. But don't ever take advantage of people because of your fear. Sometimes people that get in sales, you know, we get overwhelmed. We get like, oh crap, I don't know if I can do this. And they, you may try to manipulate the situation. You may try to manipulate people. But remember, you don't have to do that. What you have to do is believe in yourself. You have to study the craft of self. You've got to learn how to have that selling conversation. You got to learn how not to be afraid. And the, only, the first step into not being afraid is take that first step. 
You got to start picking up that phone. You got to start learning all the, the things that you need to learn. You got to study the sales. You got to learn how to be a successful salesperson. And remember, guys, if you got some fear, it's not always a bad thing. But see, here's the thing. Are you going to let it keep you from being the best that you can be? Or are you just going to overcome that fear and say, hey, man, I got this. And remember, guys, when you're getting out there and you're starting to learn how to be a salesperson, it is a little bit overwhelming. I'm telling you, it's a little fearful. You got people who've been doing it for a little while. They've already gotten their feet wet. They've already been successful. So you want to emulate those people that are successful. You want to be around winners. I didn't say winners. I said winners. People who are trying to be the best that they can be. So remember, if you have this fear, this false evidence appearing real, and you're trying to figure out, man, am I going to be able to sell this product? You'll be able to figure it out within no time at all. But remember, guys, selling is a great opportunity. It gives you a chance to make the best money. It gives you a chance to not have to get digging ditches. It gives you a chance to be able to help people. And remember, never lie, never manipulate, never steal, never take advantage of people. And when you're a salesperson, guys, especially when you first get in sales, it is fearful. But remember, study the craft of sales. Do all those things that your management give you leads and opportunities. You got to get your feet wet. Like I said, guys, if you don't try, you never will succeed. And remember, when you're a salesperson, the best way to be successful in sales is to overcome the fear. What does that mean? You walk through the door, you start picking up the heavy phone, you start calling on the customers, you start knocking on the doors, you start learning about the process, you learn how to write up an order, you learn how to take information down, you start sharing the information, you start learning about your products and your services. And remember, fear is only for a minute. And but like I said, guys, everybody has a little bit of fear. Sometimes we have it on a daily basis, but some of that fear will get you off your lazy butt so you can get out there and sell something. So remember guys, if you have this thing called fear, that's okay. Fear is just something that can help you to get to the next level. If, you ain't, if you're doing something and you ain't got no fear at all, you're not growing. Remember, we're green and growing. We're not ripe and rotting. So if you have a little bit of fear, don't be afraid, okay? I'm saying that from personal experience because I get fearful sometimes too. But see, I've learned that I have to try. I have to keep going forward. I have to keep doing the next right thing. And remember, don't let fear keep you from being the best that you can be. And never give up on yourself. And remember, fear, it's just, it's just the way it works in life. Everybody has a little bit of fear, but once you start doing the do, that means you start doing the hard work, you start picking up the phone, you start calling people, you start doing the things that you know that can help you to be successful, fear will be your friend, okay? Now you'll fear like, dang, did I not get enough sales? I need to work harder, I need to work smarter. Remember, fear, <laughs> it's just a part of life. And remember, sales, we love it, guys, so do me a favor, get out there and sell something, but if you ain't asking for the order and you got a little bit of fear, you're in the right spot. Because, see, not everybody can be a salesperson. Not everybody can be a business owner. And not everybody can be as awesome as you. So get out there and let's overcome that fear. I'm going to go right with you. I'm going to overcome the fear. Okay? All right.